fucking hell, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I did not know this was happening, but yes, Call of Duty has been sold for 68.7 billion, with a B, not an M, 68.7 billion American dollars. Holy fucking shit, I did not see this one coming. I've not been keeping up to date to that degree. I've been keeping against the lawsuits and everything, but oh fucking hell, um, I did not see this one coming. So yes, Microsoft have purchased Call of Duty and were therefore Activision and Blizzard on top of it for $68.7 billion. So I thought it'd be fun to check out the news articles when I've not read them myself because I'm still in shock. It's literally just broke less than 10 minutes ago. So let's get into reading some of these things. So we've got one from the Euro Gamer. Let's have a look at this. So Microsoft buying Call of Duty maker Activision Blizzard for nearly 70 billion. Yep, 68.7 as we can see. Microsoft, so this is a, so this is the Euro Gamer site by the way. And this is posted by Tom Phillips as well. And as you can see, it's today's date, which I will be posting this still, um, on my YouTube channel today. Microsoft is buying Call of Duty and World of Warcraft maker Activision Blizzard. So World of Warcraft has been sold to Microsoft as well, of course. Uh, Blizzard in an astonishing industry shaking deal worth $68.7 billion. The deal, which is expected to be approved in 2023, so it's not just went yet, they're shaking hands on it, but from a legal standpoint, it's just a handshake, nothing legally confirmed, was confirmed by Microsoft in a blog post from Xbox boss Phil Spencer. The monumental uh, acquisition, by far the largest ever seen in a video games, and the largest in Microsoft's history. Uh, well, I suppose that's true, I don't think it was just as bad as Mixer means Microsoft will own blockbuster franchises such as Call of Duty, Spyro, Guitar Hero, Crash Bandicoot, I fucking love Crash Bandicoot so much, maybe they can reboot it, Tony Hawk, that's Skate 2 and 3 and 4 is going to be better, I fucking love those names, sadly it's EAs but titles but still, Tony Hawk from Activision, Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Hearthstone and Starcraft from Blizzard as well as Candy Crush, fuck sake Candy Crush, from Mobile Arm, kinda. Nice, try to speech there, speech 100. Microsoft will take over Activision Blizzard, can I make this a bit larger, make it easier? Yep, there we go. Microsoft will take over Activision Blizzard and all of its um, subsidiaries, studios, God, I can't speak today, I do apologise, Ultra Autism, including Beanox, um, Demonware, Digital Legends, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, Kine, Major League Gaming, um, Radical Entertainment, Raven, oh God, Raven Software, um, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bob and Treyarch that, are, that accounts for over 10,000 plus employees. The deal comes to a turbulent period of Activision and Blizzard. Uh, numerous reports of employees' misconduct and toxic workplace conditions, oh definitely, 100%. And intense pressure on the company's huge controversial boss, Bobby Kotick. Uh, yeah, this man's uh, this man's a devil in a human disguise, honestly. For now, at least until that of 2023 date, uh, Kotick will stay in place, but Spencer did say, he did have this to say. Until the transaction closes, Activision Blizzard and Microsoft Gaming will continue to operate independently, Spencer wrote. Once the deal is complete, Activision Blizzard's business will report to me as CEO Microsoft Gaming. In a Microsoft statement, the company also said Bobby Kotick will continue to to um, serve as CEO of Activision Blizzard and his team will maintain the focus and driving efforts further to strengthen the company's culture and its acceleration business growth, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Once the deal closes, the Activision Blizzard business will report to Phil Spencer, CEO, yep. Uh, as a company, Microsoft is committed to a journey of inclusions in every aspect of gaming among both employees and players, Spencer continued. We deeply valued individual studio cultures. We also believe that creating success and autonomy go hard and sorry, go hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect. We hold our teams and all our leaders to this commitment. We are looking forward to ex um, extending our culture of proactive inclusion to the great teams across Activision and Blizzard. Spencer's blog also included the following images of Xbox management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The investor called Microsoft boss um, Satya Nadella, 
I hope I pronounced that right, I do apologise, Satya, Satya Nadella, echoed much of these above, saying that the Act of Action has to continue to improve its um, lived experiences yep, of employees, yep, definitely. That progress required leaders to not only talk to talk, but walk the walk. And the Microsoft knew it, and they would have to work, and, and its acquisition was improved. Sorry, I, I, I say I'm, I'm struggling to read today. This is my third video I've made today. I do apologise. As for the game exclusivity, post merger, Spencer said the following: Upon close, we will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we can within Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass. I suppose that's okay. Both new titles and games from Activision Blizzard's incredible catalogue. We also announced today that Game Pass now has more than 25 million subscribers. As always, we will look, we look forward to continuing and to add more value to more great games to Game Pass. The fantastic franchise across Activision Blizzard will also accelerate our plans for um, cloud gaming, allowing more people in more places around the world to participate in the Xbox community using phones, tablets, laptops and other devices you already own. Activision Blizzard games are enjoyed on a variety of platforms and we plan to continue the support of these communities moving forward. More to follow. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it guys. So yes, um, Activision has been, Activision and Blizzard, therefore Call of Duty and League of Legends and tons of other games and studios have been bought by Microsoft for 86.7 billion American dollars. So I'm just going to round up a few things then just kind of end the video here. It looks like Bobby Cossack's not going to get fired, unfortunately, and I don't see him resigning. The man's too, the man's too much of a piece of shit for us to easily go down. He's going to claw on because he literally makes hundreds of millions out of this every year, mostly through bonuses, I would imagine, as well. And plus, whatever he gets paid is an annual sum as well. So, yes, I don't think he's going to get fired when it comes round to 2023, or he'll be let go, or he'll resign. I think he's, he definitely seems like he's going to stay within Activision Blizzard, which is not good because he is he is fully responsible for everything that happened, for not taking action and for taking part in some of the allegations. Fucking shouldn't even be putting quotation marks there, but yes, it does um, seem like he's going to be staying there as well. Hopefully with under Microsoft's management, Call of Duty can actually pull in a, a finger out its arse when it comes to Activision as well, although... We'll have to wait and see. I still think Call of Duty is doomed for nonetheless, unless Microsoft has some god tier plan that they've got for the franchise itself. And um, what was the other thing I wanted to round up as well? Yeah, um, more games coming to Game Pass, therefore. We could see PC only exclusives now becoming console, which means it's pretty much available on every platform as well, with over 25 million Xbox Game Pass subscriptions, which is ridiculous as well. So. Yep, sadly, I was hoping there'd be an absolute, you know, everyone gets wiped out from, you know, the higher-ups at Activision and Blizzard, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be more down the line of they're just buying them over and all the higher-ups and staff are just staying in the same place. Therefore, nothing's going to get resolved and no one's going to get any compensation of any sorts by the sounds of things. And Ravensoft and other people are still on strike and the, the whole... Um, Another division within Ravensoft got fired as well by Activision as, as well. So <coughs> it's still an absolute shit show over at Activision Blizzard as well and a few other gaming studios as well. But yes, there you go. There's everything you need to know on Microsoft buying Activision and um, Blizzard for $68.7 billion. So thank you very much for watching this video. It's been greatly appreciated. If you can leave a like in the video, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below on what you think. Well, you, do you think Call of Duty will improve? I don't think so. And, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think they will. Uh, so leave a comment down below if you think so. Um, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm uploading daily. I'm actually uploading twice today. I've um, Definitely check out my other videos. I've got one, making pre-order sales illegal as well. I've got a, a video that I started an official government petition. There'll be a calling card here as well if you want to go click on it. And... Yeah, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. On anything. I'll be the first to report. I'm t making very ranty videos with good um, points to make and also reporting on very niche but important things as well that you won't see anyone else talk about that's still valid and important. So yeah, we've just reached the 10 minute mark. Even though I'm not getting ads, I can wrap the video up now. So 
Yes, um, there's been links in the description to my Twitter and TikTok, and so you don't miss anything. So that would be greatly appreciated. Go follow me on there. We're trying to hit the record of a thousand subscribers this year on YouTube and on TikTok as well. I'm at I'm at 750 plus followers on TikTok, and I'm at 675 subscribers on here. So if we did hit a thousand each to this year, it'd be the greatest year I've ever had in my life as well. That would be such a milestone for me. So subscribe, hit the bell notification, like, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, and Links to my other platforms are in the description and to my petition to ban the pre-order sales of video games. So, as always, I love you all and keep on rolling. Oh, God, Jeffrey Epstein's room. God, I can't believe they've got cop calling at that. <laughs>